None of them were cities before. There has always been a small region which has later prospered into being a big city. Every city has history or war, natural calamities and politics buried deep within. It was only in some 2,000 years back that cities seemed to have emerged and the Greeks and the Romans seemed to have brought the bigger cities into existence. From ancient to present, there are some cities which have always been important in some way and these are the ones which seem to be doing well in modern times too. There are some important things, if noticed, that fuel the growth of these cities which help them in becoming the richest countries of the world. A growing city's transportation is always well connected. Industrialization requires movement of raw materials and goods from one place to the other. The workers also need to go to their workplace for which there should be easy and cheap transportation available. From natural resources to labour supply, a city needs to have ample. Wherever man has learned to exploit the resources available in his surroundings, the place has developed. Man's power over the resources available is the key to the development of the city. Newer techniques of production, invention of new machines, establishment of manufacturing plants and investment of capital had led to development of cities. Once a strong foundation of a city is laid, the city will never stop developing. Development attracts skilled people and skilled labour always gives good work results. Once a city starts attracting people, the requirement for various goods also increase. The standard of living of the people is increased and more commodities are required for them. This calls for more employment, thus leading to the growth and expansion of the city's economy. Literate population will give skilled labour, which is possible only when good educational opportunities are available in a city. All the big cities have a proper arrangement for education, beginning from primary to higher education. Besides the schools and colleges, there should also be proper training institutes and for the young crowd to pursue their career. Ensuring that the highest level of education is available in a city helps in retaining skilled workforce. Richest Cities in the World, 2017 Clean, high standard of living, employment and education throughout the city are some of the things which are clearly visible when a city is doing well. Here is a list of cities which happen to be the richest. Their ranks have been determined through the gross domestic product. Competition persists and each city efforts to develop their position, which is why the list fluctuates every year. The cities in the list may change according to how well they perform every year. For now, here is a list of richest cities of 2017. A. Tokyo, Japan The first place in the list of richest cities is Tokyo. It is the capital of Japan and also the city where the emperor and the government of Japan operate from. Even though history destroyed the city twice, the city soon overcame the devastation. The great Kanto earthquake in 1923 was the first time when the city was left in ruins and the second time it was extensive bombings in the World War II in 1945. Building up fast, the city immediately hosted the Summer Olympics in 1964. Tokyo was known as Edo, which was a small fishing village. Edo was the name of the clan which simulated the growth of this village. From a small village to the world's richest country, Tokyo has sure made a grand achievement. With the largest economy in the world, Tokyo is also one of the leading centres of finance on an international level. Of the 500 esteemed companies which have been listed in the Fortune Global 500, 51 companies are present in Tokyo. Some of the world's biggest insurance and investment companies are situated in Tokyo. The city is also a center of publishing, broadcasting, transportation and electronics for Japan. The telecommunication giant NTT is also in Tokyo. The Tokyo Stock Exchange is situated in Kabutocho and it happens to be the largest in Japan. Tokyo Stock Exchange is third largest by market capitalization in the world and in terms of share turnover it is the fourth largest. On its verge of growth, there were several companies that flocked to Japan so they could get more opportunities for development. 
This rate has gone down lately because Tokyo is an extremely expensive place to stay. It was once the city which had the highest cost of living for a continuous 14 years till 2006. Tokyo does have competition from competitors such as Hong Kong and Singapore, but the city upholds its rank in Asia while also having an important position in the world. Fishery and forestry also form a part of the city's economy. Spinach and komatsuna, also known as Japanese mustard spinach, are some of most demanded vegetables. Nori, skipjack tuna and eiji are some of the fishes that are mostly caught in the islands of Hachijojima and Itsuoshima. Tokyo is also a beautiful place to visit. Museums, mountain fuji, temples, shrines, sumo wrestling, yummy food especially sushi, lakes and skyscrapers attract tourists from all over the world. This makes tourism also an important part of the country's economy. The Tokyo Sky Tree is the second tallest structure in the world. Tokyo Tower is another tall structure, which is second after the Tokyo Sky Tree. The Tokyo National Museum holds more than 37% of Japan's national treasure. The fish market of Tsukji is the biggest wholesale fish market in the world. More than 50,000 sellers and buyers make transactions in this market every day. There are different languages spoken in Tokyo. The city gives a lot of importance to education. There are many schools, colleges and universities such as Waseda University, Hitotsubashi University, University of Tokyo, Tokyo Institute of Technology, to name a few. The Ueno Park, Shinjuku Goin National Garden and Inokashira Park are flooded by tourists and locals who gather for picnics or to take pictures among the cherry blossoms which bloom in the spring. The site is truly mesmerizing. The beauty of Tokyo has also attracted several directors from Hollywood and some famous movies have been shot there. B. New York, USA Ranking second in the list of richest countries is New York, USA. The modern New York City was formed with the emerging of country of Richmond, Brooklyn, western part of country of Queens, and county of New York, along with parts of Bronx. The present mayor of New York City is Bill de Blasio. He is the 109th mayor of the city. Finance, fashion, banking, world trade, real estate, theatre, insurance, accounts, media, advertisement, arts and transportation form the economy of New York City. Besides several multinational companies, many Fortune 500 companies have their headquarters in this city. The Port of New York and New Jersey handles record-breaking cargo. Unemployment in New York City is quite low. From the Statue of Liberty to Madison Square Garden, from St. Patrick's Cathedral to Central Park Zoo and from Madame Tussauds, New York, to Staten Island Ferry, New York is a city full of attractive places to visit. The largest municipal park in New York is Pelham Bay Park in Bronx and the Central Park happens to be the most visited parks in the city. There are hundreds of movies which have been shot here. The Central Park has many attractions including a zoo, ice skating ring, Belvedere Castle, Swedish cottage marionette and many ponds and lakes. Among all the businesses which are flourishing in New York, real estate is the leading sector. The city's economy is driven by real estate. Some of the world's costliest real estate is in New York. Buildings in Manhattan and Park Avenue are extremely expensive. Even the smallest of places could cost you a fortune. Business of food processing also occupies a fairly large industry. The Interpublic Group and Omnicom Groups, advertising, advertising agencies, together earn in billions and happen to be the leading centre in advertising. More than 180,000 employees work in the fashion industry who draw about $15 billion as annual wages. The garment industry is developing soon. More than $235 million worth of chocolates and other foods are exported from the city. Several television series and movies are filmed in New York. Almost one-third of the total American movies produced are filmed in New York City. The financial industry of New York City is located in Wall Street. It accounts for more than 5% of the city's jobs. The headquarters of the world-famous financial industries are mostly located in New York City. 
the world's largest New York Stock Exchange, is situated here on Wall Street. The city is the world's largest center for trading in debt capital markets and public equity. Medical research and technology are also considered important for the city. There are many non-profit organizations also who work around for those who are in need of help. Education is managed well by the government, who ensures that even the detached section of Bronx get education. Besides the government schools, there are several schools which are run by private sectors. Some of the best universities, such as Columbia University, New York University, Pace University, Cooper, U Cooper Union, etc., are located here. There are more than 120 educational institutes for higher education. There are millions of patients who are served by the Health and Hospitals Corporation of New York City. It is a public benefit corporation and takes care of the medical needs for the poor and middle class. C. City of Los Angeles, USA Famously known for its initials LA, the City of Los Angeles ranks third in the list of richest cities of the world. The residents of Los Angeles are known as Angelenos. Spanish governor Felipe de Neve founded the city officially on September the 4th, 1781. In 1819s, all was discovered, the development. Los Angeles is commonly referred to as the City of Angels. It is home to Hollywood. This is the place where American entertainment is made. Hollywood movies are famous not only in America but all over the world. The city was first occupied by the Spanish and Mexicans before the Americans took over after a series of wars. Los Angeles manufactured aircraft and ships and was the main hub during the time of World War II. The production of aircraft in a year was so high that the number of airplanes manufactured was more than all the wars combined since the invention of aircraft by Wright brothers. There are around 13 Fortune 500 companies which are located in Los Angeles. The economy of Los Angeles is compelled by entertainment, music recording, international trade, petroleum, aerospace, apparel, tourism, entertainment, transportation, telecommunications, finance, fashion and motion pictures. The city of Los Angeles is home to 20th Century Fox, Paramount Pictures and Universal Pictures which are leading film studios. The city also happens to be the largest manufacturing center in the whole of United States of America. Long Beach, along with some connected ports of Los Angeles, happens to be one of the most important ports in the Western Hemisphere. The ports are important for trade in the Pacific Rim. The city is the third largest economic metropolitan area in the world. There are more than 140 different countries of people who reside in Los Angeles and they have their own little space made in the big city. The current mayor of the city is Eric Garchetti. He is the 42nd mayor in Los Angeles. Schools, colleges and libraries are plentiful in Los Angeles. Some of the important places which are the landmarks of the city as well as tourist attractions are Dolby Theatre, Hollywood Sign, Angel's Flight, Griffith Observatory, Hollywood Boulevard, Watts Towers, Olvera Street, Capitol Records Building, Los Angeles City Hall, to name a few. Except for a few skyscrapers, the city is known to have buildings that are low. These skyscrapers are all built outside the city and are quite visible as the remaining landscape is quite low. The city is a city of apartments rather than nuclear family homes. Since the city of Los Angeles is situated in the Pacific Rim of Fire, it is prone to earthquakes. The city has been hit by several tsunamis and earthquakes in the past that have caused major damages to the city. Los Angeles is getting set to host the 2022 Summer Olympics and has already hosted it twice before in the years 1932 and 1984. D. Seoul, South Korea Standing tall in the fifth position of richest cities in the world is Seoul. Seoul is the capital city of Republic of Korea or South Korea. It is also the largest metropolis of South Korea. The city stands on the Han River and is one of the three kingdoms of Korea which was founded way back in 18 BCE by Baekji. History survives through several monuments and some of them are Hwai Song Fortress, Royal Tombs of the Joseon Dynasty, Nam Han Sang Seong, 
Changdeok Palace and Jungmyo Shrine being some of them. These five happen to be marked as the World Heritage Sites by the UNESCO. Mountains have the city of Seoul fenced. Tourists flock here to see the cultural and modern sites of Seoul, making it one of most visited cities. It officially got its name Seoul in the year 1949 and was labelled a special city. The Korean War had left the city in ruins when they kept changing sides. As a result, the capital of South Korea had been moved to Busan. However, immediately after the war, the city became to heal and its reconstruction happened in leaps and bounds. It was made better after the war. The city has previously been rated as one of the most livable city by Arcadis. There are about 15 Fortune 500 companies here and the most prevalent and well-known one is Samsung. It ranks number one when it comes to being technologically ready. It is the most wired city. The Incheon International Airport is the world's best airport. The Lotus Cinema House has the world's biggest movie screen. Coex Mall happens to be the largest underground mall in the world. Education from grades 1 to 12 is compulsory, after which there are several many universities in the city where the students can pursue their further studies. Although the city of Seoul is densely populated, the government has ensured that there are adequate parks in the city so the residents can relax and enjoy the greenery. Since the city is bustling with people and industries, air pollution happens to be one of the problems here. The government has already implemented several policies so the air can get cleaner and healthier for the residents of Seoul. Seoul experiences hot and humid summers and dry and freezing winters. The rainfall in the area has dropped because of excessive pollution. Some of the famous parks are Mangwon Hangang Park, Ichon Hangang Park, Namsan Park, Mampo Hangang Park, and Jamsil Hangang Park. Many parks are situated along the Han River, and many parks offer hiking too. Some of the largest parks in Seoul are the Children's Grand Park, Seoul Forest, Dream Forest, and Hanyu Park. There are many buildings which are of quite famous, such as the World Trade Center Seoul, Gangnam Finance Center, Jongo Tower, and N Seoul Tower. Seoul was selected as one of the venues for the FIFA World Cup held in 2002. The city has also hosted Summer Olympics, Asian Games, and Miss Universe pageant previously. E. London, England London is the next richest city in the world, ranking fifth in the list. It is the capital of United Kingdom and is situated on River Thames. The Mayor and the London Assembly take care of the citizens of London. The city has been a flourishing one since ancient times after the Romans discovered it. The city was once the largest city in the world until 1925. The city had faced an epidemic of cholera in 1848, which had claimed 14,000 lives. Cholera struck once again in the year 1866 and killed 6,000 more Londoners. World War I and World War II bombings also claimed thousands of lives in London, besides destroying homes and buildings. The hubbub and large population of the city led to the Great Smog in 1952, where the city was covered in smoke for five days. The government has since implemented the Clean Air Act and takes care of that the air is kept clean. More than 20% of the GDP of United Kingdom comes from London. There are five districts in London which are considered to be significant for businesses. Canary Wharf, Lambeth and Southwark, the city and Camden and Islington. Canary Wharf and the city of London have the main finance industry based. The city is the world's leading international business and commerce and financial centre. Financial services and professional services connected with them from the main economy of London. It contributes to the balance of payments of United Kingdom as it is one of the largest financial exporters in the world. There are private equity firms, exchanges, insurance companies, banks, hedge funds, pension funds, reinsurance markets, brokers and investment managers. Bank of England, which is the second largest bank in the world, is situated in London. Famous and prestigious banks such as Barclays and HSBC have been headquartered here. There are several media companies which are situated here such as BBC, Fleet Street and Soho. 
Retail, fashion and technology also form a part of the economy of London. London is known to be one of the most fashionable cities and has several leading brands. The Ford Dagenham is the world's leading diesel engine manufacturing industry in the world. Since the city is a business hub, the offices and departments available in the business-prone areas are very expensive. The cost of living is also high in London. The Port of London is the second largest port in UK. It handles millions of cargo annually. The port stretches over a vast area and there is more than expected activities that happen in the areas where the port is stretched. The city also receives several tourists yearly who come to see the beautiful locations here. The London Eye, Buckingham Palace, St Paul's Cathedral, Tower of London, Westminster Abbey, Big Ben, Palace of Westminster, Kensington Palace, Hyde Park, National Gallery, London Zoo, HMS Belfast and Borough Market are just some of the locations which are famous here. Although the dream city is harbouring millions of people, there are many families who find it difficult to get a home and have been managing in emergency accommodations. Some of the best and leading universities stand in this city. Imperial College, University of London and King's College London have been ranked in top places. The London Business School and London School of Economics need no description as the name is spread far and wide. Students from abroad come every year to London in order to get a degree for these repute colleges. F. Paris, France the capital of France and the place where fashion is made, Paris is the sixth richest city in the world. The city is located towards the north in central France. Paris is a city which continues to grow rapidly ever since it has been formed. The main economy of Paris is based on commerce and services. A large percentage of the population is also engaged in construction, transportation, insurance, manufacturing, scientific service, food and accommodation, health sector and some part of it in industry. Many Fortune 500 listed companies have their headquarters in Paris. Back in 2015, the top 10 companies from the list were in Paris. The city was earlier involved in industry, but now IT and finance and other value-added service industries have taken over the economy. Other industries which are a part of the economy is manufacturing especially of products like optics, electronics, automobiles, aerospace, etc. Tourism is also an important part of the economy and a major contributor in the GDP of the city and France as whole. Paris is defined by the famous Eiffel Tower. The beautiful wrought iron tower attracts millions of tourists from the world. Other attractions of the city include Notre Dame de Paris, which is a cathedral from the 13th century. The Louvre, which was a palace earlier, has been converted to a house of art collection. The Louvre holds some of the most beautiful pieces of art and sculptures, including Mona Lisa. The Montmartre is a hill and can be accessed both from foot and metro. The cobblestone streets give an enchanting look and feel of olden days. There are many street shops where good stuff can be bought. More sites include St. Chapelle, which is a Gothic chapel from 13th century that has beautiful stained glass windows containing scenes from the Bible. Other places to visit include Musée Rodin, Les Invalides, the famous catacombs of Paris, Parc de la Villette, Parc Moncourt, Canal Saint-Martin, Place de la Bastille, Disneyland Paris are some of them. Paris happens to be one of the second most expensive city in the world. It is situated in the north bending arc of the river Seine and comprises of two islands, the old city, which is Ile de la Cité, and Ile Saint-Louis, which is a smaller island. The river of Seine is a beautiful sight and attracts a lot of tourists. The Ile Saint-Louis is inhabited by the upper class. The whole island is covered in beautiful work of art from the 17th century. There were several artists who had come here seeking peace, quiet life and scenic beauty. Ile de la Cité is the main city where the clamour of offices our daily life happen. The centre of the city is marked by a bronze star which is located near Notre Dame. Both the islands of Paris can be commuted by foot and public transport. G. Osaka, Japan. 
Osaka is a small city situated in the Kinkai region but has the densest population in Japan. The city is the seventh richest city in the world. The foundations of a more modern Osaka was set up in the year 1889, but there were expansions done later on which increased the boundaries of the city. The city industrialized quickly and Korean immigrants flocked here seeking jobs. The literacy and education system of the city was high and the middle class society supported art and literature. Osaka was prone to air bombings when World War II happened, but the city gained back its strength soon. Osaka experiences a subtropical climate and has four seasons, winters, spring, rainy and summer. The city has an urban look and buildings are the only things which are in sight, mostly. Although there are several parks for the greenery, but buildings dominate the city of Osaka. The hinterland of Osaka is immensely productive. Previously, it was the main hub of commerce in all over Japan. The first brokerage firm, Nomura Securities, was founded in 1925 in Osaka. Companies such as Sharp, Panasonic and Sanyo have their headquarters based in Osaka. The administration of the city continues to develop programs which will attract more investment from international and domestic countries. Osaka had been earlier known as the second most expensive place in the world for expatriate workers. The main economy of the city comprises of pharmaceutical companies, chemical industries, electronics and metal. News, media, publishing companies, radio and television are also an important part of the economy. The major newspapers of Japan have their headquarters located in Osaka, such as Mainichi Shimbun, Sankei Shimbun, Yomiuri Shimbun, Asahi Shimbun and Nihon Shimbun. The residents of Osaka speak a dialect which is quite common in the area known as Osaka-ben, which happens to be a sub-dialect of Kansai-ben. The Osaka City Board of Education looks after the education of its residents. Although there were many universities in Osaka, they had to be pushed to the suburbs. The city administration is under local autonomy law and the present mayor of Osaka is Hirofumi Yoshimura. The citizens elect their mayor directly every four years. Tourism adds a fair enough share to the GDP of the city. Some of the places which are of importance and attract tourists as well are the Osaka Castle, Tempuzan Ferris Wheel, Osaka Aquarium Kaiyokan, National Museum of Art, Kaiokera Dome, which is known for snowboarding and concerts, Legoland Discovery Center, which happens to be the dream for many kids and adults too, and Tsunoten Shrine. The city also happens to be in love with sports and hosts four baseball sports teams. Another loved sport is the Harubasho, which is the tournament of the sumos. The Osaka Perfectual Gymnasium holds this tournament annually. H. Chicago, USA Ranking 8th in the list of richest cities, the city of Chicago was first organized on August 12, 1833, with a population of mere 200 people as town of Chicago. It was a matter of four years that there were 4,000 people who then inhabited the city, and today it is thriving with a population of 2.7 million people. On March 4, 1837, it was incorporated as the city of Chicago. The situation of Chicago is such that it happens to be an important portage and it is a chief center of transportation between East and West United States. This gave way to Galena and Chicago Union Railroad and Illinois and Michigan Canal. The canal permits ships and steamboats on the Great Lakes to connect with the Mississippi River. This led to a flourishing economy in Chicago and immigrants flocked here to try their fate. The city developed and designed itself for the increasing population while also taking care of the health needs of the residents of Chicago. Because the city is so diversified, it has one of the most balanced economies in the United States of America. It is an important financial center of the world. The Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago has its headquarters based here. Some of the major exchanges, such as Chicago Board Options Exchange, Chicago Board of Trade, Chicago Stock Exchange and Chicago Mercantile Exchange operate here. Several Fortune 1000, Fortune 500 and Times 500 companies are located at Chicago. 
there are more than 100 such prestigious companies when all three are combined. The very famous Kraft Foods and McDonald's have their companies here. Some of the other businesses which have an important role to play in the economy of Chicago are publishing, food processing and printing. Also there are services and medical products manufactured by the companies here, such as Boeing, Baxter International, the healthcare sector of General Electric and Abbott Laboratories. The Illinois and Michigan Canal is the main reason why transportation of so many manufactured goods is easy to move. Back in mid-80s, Chicago was known for its meat packaging industry and the city had done much to expand it. Although now the meat packaging industry is not a big contributor in the economy, but it does play an important role. Lately, there are many startup companies dealing in webs that are come up such as Orbitz, Now Secure, Career Builder, 37 Signals and Feedburner. The retail business is also important and there is the Sears, Marshall Fields and Montgomery Ward have been serving the people of the Chicago for several years. Today, the economy of Chicago headquarters, Crate and Barrel, Walgreens, Sears, Ace Hardware, Claire's and ULTA Beauty. The main convention center of the city is McCormick Place, which has four buildings that are interconnected. The wages paid by the Chicago administration to the non-tipped workers is fairly high compared to other cities in the United States of America. The present mayor of Chicago is Ram Emanuel. He is the 55th mayor of the city and has been serving office since 2011. Chicago is highly dominated by the Democratic Party. Compared to other smaller cities, rate of crime in Chicago is very low. Tourists flock to Chicago to see the Sky Deck Chicago, the Field Museum, Adler Planetarium, Shedd Aquarium, which is the most visited place in Chicago, the Cloud State, which is a wonderful millennium park to visit, Chicago Botanic Gardens, where the blooming flowers will enchant your heart, and the Chicago Lakefront Trail, which happens to be one of the most scenic spots around in Chicago. I. Moscow, Russia. With the status of a Russian federal city, Moscow happens to be the ninth richest city in the world and the largest city in the entire continent of Europe. Moscow is also the capital city of Russia and also one of the most populated cities in the country. Besides Russia, the city is also an important center of several activities in the eastern part of Europe. For ages, Moscow has always remained an important city. The city has witnessed several kingdoms rise and fall. It was Daniel I who ruled the city back till 1303 and established it as one of the major cities in Europe. In the 15th and 16th century, the city was hit by many famines and plagues which aided the population of the thriving city. Several wars followed and the city had ceased to be the capital for a long time but regained its importance soon. It was only after 1991, when USSR was dissolved, that Moscow started developing again. One-fifth of the Russian GDP is contributed by Moscow. Compared to the other federal cities of Russia, Moscow has the lowest unemployment rate. Some of the nation's biggest companies and banks are situated in Moscow. Business centers and office buildings have come up in the past few years, yet three seems to be a shortage of office space here. Although the economy is stable, the increased crime level in the city does pose a problem for the businesses. Some of the other businesses that are a part of the Russian economy are nanotechnology, hydrogen energy, precious metals and traditional energy. Moscow happens to be a city of billionaires who love to flaunt their wealth. Other industries include metallurgy, energy production, chemicals, machinery, software development and textile. The leading civil and military helicopters produced in the world happens to be in Moscow, Mill Moscow Helicopter Plant. One of the oldest distilleries is the Crystal Distillery, which produces fine vodkas, is based in Moscow. The largest extractor of natural gas happens to be here, Gazprom. Gazprom is also the largest company in Russia. Most of the telecommunication companies, which form a part of the city's economy, are based in Moscow. Bailin, Yandex, MTS, Yota, and 1C, to name a few. 
living in Moscow is not cheap. There were around 10,000 vendors who were engaged in the Cherkizovsky marketplace, but this was shut down in 2009, leaving the vendors jobless. The market also happened to be the largest in Europe. The turnover of the market used to be several billions more than 30, to be precise. Tourism also forms an integral part of the city's economy, and some of the places which the tourists can look forward to visit are Red Square, Moscow Kremlin, Pushkin Museum, Gorky Park, Bolshoi Theatre, Cathedral of Christ the Saviour, Fallen Monument Park, State Historical Museum, Ivan the Great Bell Tower, Kazan Cathedral, Sokolniki Park and Diamond Fund. Moscow has a vast history and most of it has been preserved in the museums and pieces of art. J. Shanghai, China The tenth position in the list of richest cities is taken by Shanghai. The name means upon the sea. Shanghai is located on the Yangtze River and is among the four municipalities which are regulated directly by China. The city has since always been a refuge for many foreigners who have fled their lands to stay and earn a living here. The city's location is what makes it thriving and has always attracted foreigners who wanted to take advantage of the location of the Shanghai. The city stands on an intensifying peninsula which lies between the Hangzhou Bay and the Yangtze River Delta. The location of the city is perfect for trade. Commerce and finance are what mainly make up the economy of Shanghai. It is also the most expensive city to live in all of China. Its development started after the 1990s and by there stand hundreds of financial institutions, both international and domestic. The Shanghai Stock Exchange trades in six main products, copper, zinc and rubber are the most important of them. In the past 20 years, Shanghai has developed more than any other city in the world. Because of its unique location, it is one of the busiest container terminals in the world. A container terminal is where cargo containers transship between other vehicles, and this could be between land vehicles or container ships. Shanghai is also the main hub for heavy industries such as shipbuilding, auto manufacturing and steelmaking. Some of the famous shipbuilding companies are Jiangnang Shipyard and Hudong Zhonghua Shipbuilding Group. Bao Steel Group is the biggest steel makers in China and is located here in Shanghai. The largest free trade zone of China is in Shanghai. There are four of such zones, Waigao Kuaio Free Trade Logistics Park, Pudong Airport Comprehensive Free Trade Zone, Yangshan Free Trade Port Area and Waiga Kuaio Free Trade Zone. The government of China has ensured that required policies are created to attract foreign investment in the Shanghai markets, so the economy of Shanghai and China is fueled further towards development. Education is an important aspect in Shanghai, and the students from here tend to show extraordinary intelligence. The quality or education imparted in Shanghai is extremely high. It has more than 30 colleges and universities, making it China's leading center of higher education. The city has several international schools and happens to be the one with most numbers in China. Tourism in Shanghai also forms a part of the economy. There are many beautiful places that are noteworthy. The Bund, which is a waterside walkaway about 1,500 metres, and one can see several colonial as well as urban buildings from this sidewalk. Xintiandi is a marketing area where no cars are allowed. The Jade Buddha Temple, which is famous for its huge sculptures, which are heavily decorated. Some more notable places of visit are People's Square, Jin Mao Tower, Dongping National Forest Park, Shanghai Science and Technology Museum, Shanghai Ocean Aquarium, St. Ignatius Cathedral and Sheshan Basilica. Circumstances change as there are many things that cannot always be controlled by governments. The globe is vast and the cities are many. Every small change that takes place can impact the situation of a city's economy. The list is not permanent and will change next year. For now, these are the top 10 richest cities in the world.